Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about Veka, that is introduction to Veka. Uh, we are going to talk more about Veka GUI. So this is what the GUI of Veka, once you install, download and install it, that I have uploaded in the previous video, you can check that. So this is once you download and install it, you will get this type of uh, GUI. GUI means graphical user interface. This is the Veka GUI. So as uh, we can see in any application, the menu will be like this, okay? But usually in all the menu, we'll be seeing, seeing like file um, uh, view like that. But here it will be different like program. Okay, if you want to see the log windows, visualization tools, help will be here. So these are all the uh, re required menu as well, but we will see in detail about this in the further video. Now let us talk about these application video, which is very, very important for almost all of our data mining, machine learning, and also for our deep learning work. So the very first one is Explorer. Okay, so this is also a graphic. Once if you click this, you will get an another GUI, which means that a graphical user interface from here, we can access the menu, like we can open a new uh, a new file. Um, we can quickly read the data set from a file and build a decision tree from it. And uh, this Explorer really guides us by presenting options as uh, forms to be filled out. Okay, like here you can see, it is like open file. If you simply click here, open file, it will take you to uh, get the data from our desktop. Okay, and if you want to open a URL, for example, if you know that a data is there in the URL, you can simply select this open URL and you can play, paste the URL where it will fetch the data and give it to us. Okay, like that uh, DB, it will do it. Okay, and uh, um, you can also see that once if you just uh, uh, hover over any of the command button, it will help you some with the, some t uh, tool tip. Okay, this is agented artificial data. So this is open a set of in, uh, instances from a file. So these we call it as a tool tip. Okay. So once we pass this our mouse over items on the screen to explain that will explain what they do. Okay. So these are all uh, available in the Explorer GUI. So we will just simply close this as of now. We will see what everything is going to do. Okay. And the next one is what experimental. Okay. This is the second interface. Experimental is designed in such a way that it can help us answer basic practical question when we are trying to use classification regression techniques etc okay so uh, uh, which parameter values works best for a given problem so if you want to cross check something we want to experiment something this we can definitely make use of it okay so uh, through this experimenter it will be very easy to find that Okay, this also we will see in detail. So let us close this as of now. Next one is what the knowledge flow. Okay, so this is the third GUI graphical user interface where the knowledge flow interface allows us to design configurations for streamed data processing. So let me just click this. So it will open up. So if you want to stream the data processing, then it will do it. Okay, so what is the difference it was if we use a explorer, okay, that holds everything in the main memory. Okay, and if you when you open a data set, it immediately loads it all in. Fine, that's me, which means that it can only be applied to the small to medium size problem. Okay, so uh, if you are using Explorer, for, but the knowledge flow interface lets us to drag a box. So here you can see that this is a classifier. And if you want a base classifier, you can simply select and drag it. Okay, so you can simply select and drag the box over here. So you can use it and check whether uh, it is working fine. Okay, this specifically enables enable us to specify a data stream by connecting our components, representing the data sources, processing tools, uh, visualization modules, learning algorithm and evaluation methods and everything. Okay, so this is how uh, this particular uh, um, processing will work. There is a knowledge flow will work. Okay, so we have talked about explorer, experimenter, knowledge flow. 
okay and we have some more a uh, few more things like a workbench and simple cli okay cli means command line interface so if you want to do something with the command line interface then definitely we can use this command line interface to work with let us talk about the workbench so this is the uh, fourth interface of uh, aweka okay so this is a unified graphical user interface which combines the other three okay that is uh, explorer experimenter and knowledge flow fine and the workbench is highly configurable allowing the user to specify which application and plugins will appear along with the settings relating to them so you can use workbench uh to uh combinedly work with all these things and the final one is what the cli that is what uh simple cli which i already told you which is a graphical sorry command line in interface okay so these are all the basic interface if you install veka you will get these things okay this is what the veka workbench we'll be dealing with all these things in the further uh, uh, videos okay and if you click there here simple cli it will show a command line interface uh, if you want to work with you can just simply work here so it is like more or like like a dos dos prompt disk operating system right so this is how this everything works okay so in the upcoming so it it has stopped something has stuck i'll just look into it and i'll let you know what went wrong over here yeah here it is coming so this is an this is a, what this is a knowledge flow okay simply you can connect and work so we'll be talking about everything in this lecture hope you really like this video we will discuss about more about veka in the further sessions thank you take care bye bye